Hey everyone, Mr. Jonathan here, and today we are drawing Princess Leia from the Star Wars film. Uh, this drawing is going to be a little bit more advanced than the stuff that we usually draw, but just be patient, you know, trust in your skills and do your best. And we're going to dive in right now with, um, we're going to build, <clears throat> we're going to build the head in a few different shapes here. So what we're going to start off with is a circle. Uh, the circle you can make pretty big to start off with. Okay. So what the circle is going to do, it's going to help us find the dome of the head, uh, meaning this top rounded part over here. So we're going to draw it like this. And a nice big circle in there. Let me draw it a little bit darker so you can see it better. Okay. So with this circle in place, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw the midline. And, you know, when we draw the midline in a character that's facing towards us, we would aim right for the middle. But I'm going to put this midline a little bit off to the side here. Okay. So if you really want to get technical with it, um, where I'm placing it is, say, if this was the middle of the circle here, and we're working with this half, then I would try to find the midpoint between here and here. So about the middle of there, and then the midline is going down this way. Usually when I draw characters that are facing uh, three quarters or a little bit to the side, I'll draw my midline actually curved to follow the curve of the head. But just to keep it simple, I'm going to draw the midline going straight down and then work around that, okay? So we're gonna go drop it. I'm gonna drop it down pretty low. My chin is not gonna go all this low, but just to, so I have a little bit extra room to work with. Okay, so from here, if you draw a midline, a horizontal midline, this could help as well. Okay. Now, the reason, one of the reasons why I put this midline here is because I'm, we're going to go over here to the side of the cheek and I'm going to use this midline to guide me. If you could tell here, there's a little um, angle here where the eye is going in and out, right? So I'm going to use this to guide me. The point on this angle is where I'm going to place the midline. So I'm going to start above it just a little bit and then go in this way. Once I get to the midline, now I'm going to go back out. Okay. So we're getting this little dent in the head uh, showing the eye socket here and then the cheekbone here. Once you get back to the circle on this side, then you want to go down this way and we're gonna go past the circle. We're gonna go down a little bit and then go in towards the midline. And at the midline, just a little bit before, I'm gonna add a flat line here going this way for the chin. So, in terms of how long to make the chin, that's gonna be kind of the tricky part, right? Because your drawing is not gonna have the exact same proportions as mine. Things might be a little bit off um, in terms of like how close you put the midline and things like that and how far, um, how wide your circle is. So really judge for your, judge for yourself on your drawing how long or how short you might want to make the chin be okay so the, in this drawing that we're doing it's going to be a lot of your own judgment that is going to make the drawing look good even though i'm showing you the steps on what to follow again the drawings are not going to come out exactly the same so this is where you really get to practice your creativity and your drawing skills 
So the chin on this side or the jaw is gonna come down through the circle and then this way. Notice how many angles I'm putting in here. So I'm going down this way for the jaw and then going in to the chin. So there's one, two, three angles on this side. And then it's gonna be the same amount of angles on this side, but just different lengths of the lines. Like we have the chin, that's one. And then going up, that's another. But notice this is a lot shorter than this. And then as we go up the side of the head to the cheek, then this line is gonna be a lot longer than the jaw line, okay? So get the head shape in place for the forehead. We could follow the circle. I like to flatten my forehead just a little bit instead of having it completely round with the circle. Notice I'm making a, a little bit more of a straight angle here. And then I'm gonna go in this way for the hairline. And the hairline is going to be um, a little bit below the top of the circle. You wanna make sure of that, okay? See the hairline is about here, top of the circle up here. Now from here, we're gonna do her, uh, her buns, her hair buns, one of her signature looks. And what you wanna do is get an oval in here. And these are actually a lot bigger than you, you might think. They cover up a lot of the side of her head and they even go out to the side this way a bit. Okay. So we'll get that in place and then get another one in place here. This one, because her head is turned and it's being covered up a little bit more, you don't have to draw that much or you don't have to make the curve go that far out. I went way too far with this one. So I'm going to shorten it up a little bit. Maybe I went a little bit too low here too. So this is what I mean. Uh, when it comes to your drawing, you need to take a look and see what kind of adjustments you can make so that all these steps fit your drawing and look good, you know? So maybe for your drawing, this curve might be lower or it might be higher. Okay. Uh, we are kind of skipping around between the uh, basic shapes and a little bit more detailed parts. Uh, what I want to do before I start building up even more detail in the head is just get the structure of the neck and the shoulders here. So now that I have the bun in place on this side, I have a good idea of where I'm going to place the neck. So as you could tell, the neck is crossing paths with the bun and not the jawline here, okay? So I'm gonna make the neck. And I like to draw it connecting to the circle for the head or the actual head, just to feel like I have a little bit more structure. And then if when I need to, I'll just erase this line later. Okay, so we're gonna go down the neck this way. And then uh, here, she does have a fairly thin neck. So I'm not gonna go too far to the side of the head. I'm gonna keep it about here. Okay. Down this way. And then the shoulder is going to curve down this way. Right, because her body is turned as well. So the shoulder here is gonna have a little bit more of a curve. And then here it's more of like the uh, collarbone chest area. So this part's gonna be a little bit flat, actually a lot flatter compared to the curve of over here. Okay. All right. So from here, we're gonna add a little more structure to the hair. And the way I'm gonna do that is at the hairline, you'll see at the part of the hair, it makes kind of like a M shape. So that's what we're gonna go for. Uh, what I'm gonna do first is start at the midline and I'm gonna make the curve going out this way first. 
So if you're having trouble with this curve, what I advice I could give is notice how it's longer on this side. So it's kind of a long line going here and then all of a sudden it curves and this line is really short going back into the forehead. Okay. And then, you know, you draw the forehead going down this way like this. Okay. And then here, it's kind of the same idea. This side is going to be short, but you don't need to uh, curve it out going this way as much. See, it's kind of going more in. So I'm going to go this way. This line's going to be very short. And then it's going to cut in like this. This line is going to follow through. All right, so this is the actual hairline, and then this is the hair curving up and around. Okay. And this part, you do want to go down pretty low too, because um, at this point, it's not her hairline. Her hairline is still up here, but this is the actual hair um, being pulled down the side of her head into the buns. Okay. And then from here again, we want to get the part in the hair. So we're going to go up at this angle like that. Okay. You could go a pretty good amount above the circle here. Um, in fact, if you want even more volume in her hair, you would just make this go even higher. Then we curve back down until you meet the bun here on this side. And then here, Actually, it might be a little bit easier if you start from this point and then you just bring this part of the hair going back there. You don't have to bring it all the way to the top and match there. I actually think it looks a little bit better if you fall a little short from the top, just like that. Okay, I'll darken up the outside of the buns here, hair buns. So as far as the detail in the hair buns go, you could bring it to the level of detail as you want. If you just want to make them ovals, you could leave it at that and that will still get the message across. You know, because this character is pretty familiar, so iconic that even if you don't have details of the hair filled in here, people could kind of fill in the blanks on their own, in their own mind or at least they'll understand that it is Princess Leia because of the hairstyle. Okay, but what I'm gonna do, I'll try to match up the details on here. So from the bottom, I'm gonna curve up, not all the way, about here. Then I'm gonna do a S curve. So first I'm curving this way, and then about here, I'm gonna turn the curve going this way. And I will bring this line all the way down to meet there. So right now you have, it kind of looks like the yin yang symbol in terms of the oval being split into two parts. But from here, I'll just add some strands of hair going this way and this way. So they're all kind of twisting and meeting up like at the center point. And if you want to add some strands of hair detail going here on the top, you know, you could do just single lines or you could do little spikes. If you do spikes, it kind of makes it give the shiny look like the hair is shiny. Okay. Darken up this side as well. Okay. So from here, what we're going to do is where this um, line bends here at this point, this is going to be pretty much where we set up the eyes. Okay, but before that, we want to go a little bit above it and start with the eyebrows. So the eyebrow on this side, we just come down to a point like so. Okay. Now here,
need to make an adjustment. So depending on how close your midline is to the side of the head, this is where you're gonna have to make some decisions for your own drawing as well. So depending on how far away this is from here, that's gonna determine how long you're making your eyebrow and how much of this eye is gonna be showing. So on this version, this line I drew, the midline, was a lot closer to the edge of the circle. So you don't see a lot of the eye and the eyebrow here, but this one, I have a lot more room to work with, okay? So what I'm gonna, so you can already tell the eyebrow is a lot longer than on this side. I am gonna draw the eyebrow here as well. Okay. Now what I like to do is just start with one side the bottom, then do a curve, okay? And then here on the top, we're gonna add an angle going up and then down. All right, you can fill the eyebrow in too. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. There's gonna be a lot more room over here. So first I'm gonna draw the nose, the bridge of the nose, and I'm gonna start right here at this line from the eyebrow and bring it down going this way. Okay. And usually when I'm drawing portraits, uh, realistic portraits, the bottom of the nose um, ends up close to the bottom of the circle. But because this is a little bit more of a cartoon, version of a portrait the proportions are going to be different so you don't really want the nose to reach all the way to the bottom of the circle i'm leaving a, a little bit of room here okay and again how long you make your nose that's really up to you how you want to make it so your drawing will look good okay and now i have a lot more room here for the eye so Basically, the eyes, I try to keep pretty simple. I'll start with this one first, actually. Uh, I'm going a little bit away from the midline. Actually, since you have your eyebrow in place, what you wanna do is kinda just line up the inside of the eye with the edge of the eyebrow. I mean, usually in realistic portraits, the, the eye might be a little bit inside the edge of the eyebrow. Really just depends on the person. But again, for this, for the sake of this portrait, what I try to do is line up the inside edge with the inside edge of the eyebrow. And then I'll just get this shape. So it's kind of like an upside down V, except the lines are curved instead of being completely straight and pointy. Okay. So this is the shape I'm going for the eye. This eye is gonna be bigger than this one, no matter how much room you have on the side. That is because um, it's the eye that is faced towards us, and then this eye is facing away from us, so we're not seeing as much of this eye. Now we get this shape in place. I'm just gonna get the eye shape in place first and make sure they look okay. And here, I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing as this shape, it's just gonna be smaller. And actually the, um, notice how this side is a lot longer, going close to the edge of the head and then this side is gonna be shorter, just like that. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, because we're seeing this eye at a different angle, I drew the bottom of this eye, just a hint of it, which I'll do here as well. So you have the eye shapes in place. If you want to draw part, part of the bottom of the eye here too, you could do that. I'm not going to on mine. Again, just to keep it simple. So here, now you could make her looking in, in any direction you want. I'm gonna have her facing the camera here. So what you want to do is have part of the circle just looking this way, okay? So you want a big one in here, this is gonna be the iris. And then a smaller one inside, that's the pupil. This is gonna be the darkest part of the eye. And then here, 
you could shade it in very lightly. And then here, the same thing. But again, because we're not seeing as much of this eye and we're seeing it at a different angle, I'm going to have this part, the um, iris connect all the way to the outside edge. Where you see on this side, it's not going all the way to the uh, to the corner. But here it is. And then you could even make the pupil coming in like that. Actually, that's way off. Let me fix that. The pupil, I'm going to make just a very thin oval here. There we go. That's better. Okay. So we have our eyes, our eyes. Um, last couple of details from the nose. We got the bridge of the nose and the tip here. And then we'll just go on the side here, at the nostrils here. So you just want the bottom of this line to more or less line up with the bottom of this line. And then draw just a little line here for the outside part. For the lips, she does have pretty thin lips. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put the smile first, more like a little smirk, okay? And then I'm going to just add a little bit extra here for the top lips, like a little, like a really flat M shape here, right? And then you could draw a little line here for the bottom lip if you wanna indicate that. There you go. Let me get rid of all these guidelines here, give you a better view of the face. Right. And then still, because I didn't darken up the lines for the head shape just yet, I still have some room to play around with the head shape. So what I'm gonna do is, because these lines are so, so sharp in the corners, I'm just gonna round them out a little bit just to give her a softer look. Right. And I feel like the cheek here is coming out a little bit too far. So I'm going to shorten it up just a little bit. And then go down here. Okay. See how now it's just softening up a little bit. The corners and the edges aren't so hard and sharp. And even here. Just give me your features a little bit of a softer look, especially here on the jawline. You notice the difference here? It's practically all curved. And here it's nice. It's, well, it's very pointy and sharp. So I'm going to, there we go. And you see what I was talking about the midline? I did, it didn't reach all the way down here, but I just like to give myself some room to work. And it's not even a lot of trouble to just erase it. Now from here, we're gonna add our turtleneck. So I'm gonna curve down a little bit this way. You do wanna go a little bit past the borders of the neck here, just to show that there's a little bit of volume and the clothes are actually like wrapping around the body here. Okay. Marking up here and here. Get rid of this and this. Okay. All that's left, I'll darken this up. And here. Actually, the uh, line for the collarbone and chest is inside of the collar now. So, what I want to do is actually bring it outside to here. And you can leave it at that is, uh, if you want, nice and simple clothing. But if you want, you could add an indication. She does have kind of like a cape or a shawl that she drapes over her shoulders. You could add that. And then you could add a little bit indication of her actual shoulder here. 
and there you go. Let me just give mine one last look and clean up. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Make sure nothing is left sloppy. Okay. You know, even if you have like a little bit of a guideline left here or there, it, it could still look good. It could still look like part of the design. But you, what you don't want is to leave anything sloppy, like say, if you had a scratchy line somewhere and just to leave it um, sloppy like that. At least for me, I like to go back and clean up that kind of stuff. But there you go. Princess Leia, I think mine's all done. I think it looks pretty good myself. Hopefully yours came out looking good as well. And thanks for joining the drawing. Hope to catch you next time. Bye.